This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information and enjoy the show. We're big music buffs here at Fleet Equipment, and when we're not rocking out to the likes of Led Zeppelin or ACDC, we prefer the sound of productivity. And there are fewer places in the trucking industry as productive as the Wix Filters manufacturing facility in Gastonia, North Carolina. So I stopped by to visit with the fine filter folks at Wix and get a sneak peek at the new filters coming down the line. Hi, I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment Magazine. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get lost in the phone calls, emails, blogs, likes, tweets, and more. So I'm hitting the road to talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. While walking the air filter manufacturing line, I spotted a unique green color media among Wix's wide offering. It was the new Wix Nano Pro Media. I talked with Donald Chilton, Vice President of Product Management for Wix, about the benefits of the new media and probed Wix's product rollout plans. The bright green Nano Pro fibers are laid on top of the media and promise higher filtration efficiency and more capacity than Wix standard heavy duty filters. You're laying something on top of the media that seems like you're taking away from the filtration efficiency or you're cutting a percentage of it off, right? Because particulates get caught in the media, then the efficiency improves of the filter. So how does putting a coating on top of that improve that? You know, it seems kind of backwards. Well, that's a good question, Jason. And the way to think of media is think of like a chain link fence. And the contaminants are tennis balls or ping pong balls or golf balls or whatever that's coming at it. It's not going to catch every single thing. It's going to catch a lot of it. But if you think of the nanofibers like somebody spraying silly string onto the chain link fence, okay. now there's another coating that's on top that'll catch even smaller stuff as it goes along. Whether you're talking air, oil, or fuel filters, efficiency regulations are a big talking point in the world of engines. Donald shared his thoughts on how engine technology has changed and how Wix has met those new demands. From a filtration standpoint, I think that the, the changes that we've seen as an industry has been much tighter um, injector tolerances. Mm -hmm. So what may have gone, you know, a 30 micron filter years ago on a diesel engine was more than adequate. Uh, but now given the changes in fuel to meet some of the emission standards, you see much higher pressures at the injectors. So obviously fuel filter medias have changed a lot. They've gotten a lot tighter. You know, you're looking at a two micron type filter okay. as a standard. Uh, multi layers to, to strip and remove water, which okay. is just as damaging if not more than the contaminant mm -hmm. in the injector life. Um, and most of the emissions that you see changing are going to be with after treatment systems. Not really a filter issue, but you have to make sure the air is clean, right. the fuel is clean, and obviously the oil uh, at the engine. Nanopro represents the latest advancement in filtration technology, and a product like this just doesn't happen overnight. Donald explained what went into making Nanopro a reality. We have uh, spent probably a couple years just working on this particular media to, to roll it out, and there was several years before that of uh, research that the engineers did. Um, so we're a couple years deep into this project now, and like I said, we're going to roll this out October 1st. Um, this uh, particular media, it's not easy, it's not something that you can just go and buy off the shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an exclusive uh, manufacturing uh, partnership with another company that's helping us uh, generate the media mm -hmm. and make it. So we think it's very special. We want to you know, say that it did take us a couple years to get this up to the point where we were happy with it. Right. We've gone through several iterations to get it out to the customer. Okay. So now we're, we want to show it off and uh, hopefully make the customers as happy as we are to be able to make this. While we slow-mo walk down the line, head over to feontheroad.com for even more binge-worthy episodes.